So you looked at this title, and you're probably wondering, what the heck is Jerry going to talk about? Is he going to troll MMA people like Jake Paul is? No, I'm not. This is a video about combatives. Now, when I talk about MMA, I'm defining it basically as the modern kind of perception of MMA, which is you take some standout fighting, you take some grappling, you put it together. MMA could be defined as other things. After all, it is mixed martial arts. But when I say MMA, most people think about cage fighting or something that involves a few arts that make you one-on-one -on -one efficient in the ring. So today we have a Taiwanese professional MMA fighter named He Hao Yang. He is two wins, two losses professionally. So he's had an amateur career before that, of course. He's a very qualified guy to be a candidate to test knife defense. Yes, this is about knife defense. He Hao Yang put himself out there to see if his MMA training, his grappling, his striking, his wrestling, etc., his takedowns could prepare him for a knife situation. First round, he's going to test only grappling. Second round, he's going to test striking and grappling. The person that's demonstrating as the assailant, this person is not trained. That's one of the most important things about this. He is not trained. So this is a really good test to see what could potentially work and what could potentially not work. Without further ado, let's go. So what we see here is he's thinking from a paradigm of grappling, right? But he's not really controlling the arm. I mean, he's starting to learn now. And you see how the guy, the guy's not trained, but he's just using his instincts. That was pretty cool. We'll have to re-examine that. You see, he still hasn't figured out to control the arm he thinks you know you control the body right but the thing is the knife can pierce you in so many ways so you see when he did the rear naked choke he trapped the arm he's kind of understanding but again any kind of takedown you got to modify it if if not even takedown see he's like oh my goodness this is hard you see he's just like i don't know what to do let's watch this once in slower motion and we can kind of see more so i really like this part because what it shows is if you off balance your opponent, his priority is to try to rebalance himself and break the fall, right? So this has a temporary kind of respite. So it's not going to end the fight, but you can use it as a transition or one step in the knife defense. I love this part because you see he's got the body control, but if you don't control the arm, you are not going to make it, right? That's what he learned here. So... Let's replay that again. See, see, look at that. You don't control both arms in in jujitsu and stuff like that. When you're doing grappling, it's a you get a little bit more leeway, right? As long as you control the shoulders and the hips. But here, because he's got this killing machine in his arms, if you don't control both his hands, look at that. So, see, he's trying takedowns. He's trying all that. Um, you can see multiple times. He tries to get the back in different ways. Just getting dominant position is not enough when you're doing knife defense. And MMA doesn't train you for that. So now he tries striking and grappling to see if he can do better. So he's trying kicks and stuff. Um, but again, um, oh, oh, wow. So I've seen some of what he's trying to do taught in knife defense courses. Um... You know, it's interesting. It's really... There he goes. He's trying to trap the arm now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh no, he didn't control the hand. So, turning him on his stomach and then striking could work. That's very interesting. One of the biggest lessons I'm learning from this is an untrained attacker has more of a flinch response. A few times, his strikes actually had more effect than I thought because as the untrained attacker, he actually turned and flinched. I never even thought about that. When we talk about the realities of knife defense, it's either a guy who's completely compliant or a guy who's got the Terminator. So what this is showing with this kind of resistance is something in between. The guy's untrained, maybe he has some grudge against you or emotions took over or something, but he still has a flinch response. I really liked that part. Next up, it really shows how much this MMA fighter has no ego because he shows a brief segment of him trying to do the knife opponent who's never had any martial arts training trying to defend. And what we're going to see is it doesn't look much different. So here is the untrained guy. See, the untrained guy is doing a good job. He's understanding, oh, I got to go for the arm, right? It's hard. It's hard to go for the arm. You see? You see that? You never, ever think 
then just by going for the arm, you're okay. You gotta fight for it. So I reached out to Holyoung and I actually asked him, is there any other footage? Did you guys do more tests? And they actually did. Next up, I'm gonna show you brief segments of them imagining, since you know bare hands is very hard, if not impossible against someone with a knife, what if you found a stick or something like that, or you had some kind of weapon too to defend against this knife wielding assailant? Let's watch some of that. So now imagine if you were coming back from tennis practice or something, right? So you have have a little bit of weapon this is our MMA fighter <laughs> doing fair text a little bit of a uh, endorsement so look at that um, ooh, even that's hard so the, the guy's trying to use the sticks to keep distance and it's impossible he's getting punctured everywhere so now he's learning, okay, don't use it to frame, just use it to kind of try to parry. So see, now he's he's doing a better job. Don't use it as a frame, use it more as trying to hit his knife hand. So now this is, we're seeing some results. Now imagine if he only had one stick. That's really interesting. Oh, look at that. He actually hit the knife out of the guy's hand. So, you know, it's harder to to punch or kick the knife out of the hand. But see, again, what, the moment he tries to use it to create a frame, he kind of fails. See, now he's trying to trap the knife. Man, this is really cool, guys. Wow, we've never seen this stuff before. I mean, some of the combative channels like um, Sand Sundown TE and maybe Shivworks does some stuff like this, but I don't think they've ever tested this kind of stuff in Asia before. I mean... I don't know if if you want to send me some C-Lock clips, please let me know. So, this one he he again tries to trap the arm. Um, he says he got hit in the head. So again, look at that. He's trying to trap the arm to his body. That's my coach texting me. Um, so that works if you can isolate the arm and hit him. That's interesting. That's interesting. I see how why that works. Because if you're grabbing his arm, you're hitting his head too. It's too hard for him to think about putting the knife into his other hand, right? When his head's getting hit. That's interesting. Look at that. He's trying to trap, isolate the hand. Wow. So, also if you notice, our guy has a backpack. Um, the, the, the guy, his buddy, our MMA fighter's buddy has a backpack. Why not use the backpack? Just thought about that. So again, um, lots of trying to control the arm. Look at that. Um, trying to control the arm and then get the arm away from the guy's body and away from his body. That seems to be a thing. You see, two, two arms on one using his foot when possible, getting it to the ground, even taking the knife when possible. This is super interesting, man. So now our MMA fighter tries. Um, and again, it, oh, it, it, look at this. It's the same thing. Get the knife to the ground, away from both your bodies. Try to put a foot in there too. So oh, look at that tactical light time. So again, tactical light just creates a brief opening, right? That's what we're learning here. Brief opening from a tactical light. So it's not going to stop him, but you can s distract him just enough that he have a stick or something, you can do it. So now our MMA guy tries if he has a weapon too, if he can do it. Oh, he struck first and paid for that. The other lesson we're learning is you have to continue. You have to be very aggressive. You see, he MMA guy got it again. He lost at this. He lost again. So this is, I love the pressure in this. This guy's relentless, right? And that's what you have to expect in a situation like this. You see the relentlessness of the assailant, man. Wow. I love the pressure, guys. Key takeaway time. If you off balance him, you get a slight few seconds of him not thinking about this or this, but of, oh, how do I prevent myself from falling on my face? So if you can off balance him, you create a microsecond to a few seconds of an opening. Second, there is something called the flinch response. So if you get him to flinch, flinch for a second, you create a brief opening. Now, if you have a distance multiplier slash a force multiplier, don't use it to frame. Use it to try to hit him. Use it to try to do damage to him. Just using it to frame is not enough. If you must engage, try to get the knife as far away from both your bodies. Try to get it to the ground and try to get the knife out of his hand. Tactical lights do work briefly to create a slight opening for you to either run away or go in. And if he really, really wants to do damage, he's gonna be relentless. So next up, I'm gonna show you a clip from China. This is what you probably should do 99% of the time if someone shows you a knife. 
I hope this was a really fun video for you, but also a very informative video. And I want to give a big shout out to MMA Fighter and his buddies who did all these tests. You can find the channel. I'll put it in the pinned comments, in the end card, etc. I don't know exactly whose channel it is. I don't think it's Ho Young's, but it's one of his buddies or something. Give him a follow. I promise you guys, if there's more stuff involving him, I will bring it to you guys. I told him once he creates his own social media, I'll shout him out. Very big shout out to the entire Taiwanese martial arts industry. You guys have been some of the most supportive people to my channel. I love you guys. Thank you.